I enjoy making Bitcoin content for people to share, to enjoy, to watch. It's really nice, you know, and many of you watching this probably have that feeling of pounding the table, trying to tell the world about Bitcoin, tell the world to get off zero and to start stacking sats. You have this frustration of like, why don't people just do it? But my message to you is very similar, and it's to you, it's to the Bitcoiners. In the same way that those of us that buy Bitcoin pound the table to the rest of the world that you have to educate yourself and study Bitcoin, I'm pounding the table to the Bitcoiners that you have to take self-custody, okay? And frankly, it's just as much of a frustrating example, because if you own Bitcoin and you do not have self-custody, you are at extreme risk because you have massive single points of failure here where you are going to lose your coins. If you have your coins on an exchange, Either someone is going to find your login info and withdraw your coins from your exchange. I see that all the time. And even if that doesn't happen, exchanges eventually will go down. Banks eventually will go down. Maybe not this month, maybe not next year, but in five years, maybe. And as more people act on that belief, that only accelerates the timeline at which that occurs. So my message to you today is that if you are buying Bitcoin, if you are studying Bitcoin, if you are getting off zero, that's great. Good. I'm glad you're hearing the message. Unfortunately, 99% of the world is not hearing it. But if you are doing that, you have to take self-custody. And I know a lot of Bitcoiners are not taking that seriously. And I'm trying to warn you to take it seriously, okay? The reason I say that, and the reason I say it with increasing urgency is because of this chart, okay? I'm in the Bitcoin space all day, every day. I meet lots of high-profile Bitcoiners. I meet lots of quiet people that probably should be high-profile, but geniuses working behind the scenes on tech solutions and massive, massive technologies for Bitcoin's future and future adoption. I, I talk all the time with the plebs. I'm always on Twitter and, and YouTube and making these things. I'm, I'm constantly in calls, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day, six days a week. I'm constantly talking to people that are just starting out in Bitcoin, that have been in Bitcoin a long time, you know, decade plus, high net worth, low net worth, companies, charities, private individuals. I talk to such a variety of people. And I'm telling you, anecdotally, this is happening, okay? What is this chart that we're looking at here, okay? This is the level of interest in the Bitcoin advisor. Okay, not me personally. This is the whole company. Okay, the Bitcoin Advisor has been around for seven years. Okay, we're the first, we're the first and foremost multi-sig, you know, provider of this sort. You know, we're, in my opinion, the best in the business. That's why I work here. But this is our interest. This is our demand. Okay, and this this chart is from October of 2023. Imagine what it is now. Okay, my point is, my point in showing you this, my point in being so worth in this is that this is happening. I'm telling you from being on the inside, quote unquote. Um, and I don't say that arrogantly. I just say it because it's true. You know, literally all day, every day, my job is to talk to people that are just entering Bitcoin, just new to Bitcoin, or they're actually taking themselves because these seriously. I'm telling you, the demand is picking up. More and more people are understanding this. More and more people are wanting this with more and more urgency. Okay. A lot of people have had to wait weeks to have a 15 minute call with me. Okay. Or 30 minute call with me. Okay. Because my time is being sucked up. This is happening and we're expanding our team. My point is, despite us expanding our team, despite us working five, six days a week, many, many hours a day at doing this. It's like, we're barely keeping up, okay? And this is a bear market, okay? Again, this is from October of 2023. Three-year lows for Bitcoin interest globally. We are trying to scale as quickly as we can. We're trying to get ready as quickly as we can. However, we know how this works. We know how human um, psychology works. Inherently, not everyone can escape a bank run fully solvent. And likewise, when it comes to tech adoption, probably, Demand is going to vastly outstrip supply of people able to help with self-custody. So my urgency to you, my encouragement to you is that don't stress, don't panic, don't freak out. I'm not trying to apply too much pressure, but you should have some pressure, okay? Don't rush. Make sure you know what you're doing, but keep moving forward on figuring out your self-custody. For some of you, that means figure out a hot wallet and figure it out soon, okay? If you don't have a lot of stats, a hot wallet can be a great spot. If you're a little more advanced, start figuring out your single SIG cold storage, your self-custody, start ordering your hardware wallet, start researching into that, okay? And for a lot of you, also that means start considering your multi-sig solutions right now, okay? Obviously, you can do that on your own. You can figure it out on your own. You can figure out the tech on your own. You can figure out who your other key agents are going to be. You can, you know, you can have it in, in your will. You can do it on your own, but if you want help with doing that, of course, that's what we do at the Bitcoin Advisor. That's the chart I showed you before. That's, that's where my day job, quote unquote, is. I work at the Bitcoin Advisor where I specifically help people um, set up their multi-sig vaults, I help people set up their estate plans for the future, for their children, uh, for their companies, for their teams or whomever, their spouses. Um, and, and we help them over the long term be a, a, a collaborative custody key agent, making sure that they have quarterly key checks and making sure that they are fully self-sovereign, um, both in the present and the future. Okay, we provide um, expert guidance. We have tailored strategies uh, for the individual or for the company. And so my encouragement to you is that if that's something that interests you, if you're thinking, 
How am I going to pass my Bitcoin along to my children? If you're thinking, how do I protect myself against losing my own keys? If you're thinking, how do I even, where do I even begin with setting up a multi-sig vault? I've heard it. What do I do? Please, please, please do it now. Okay. I'm not saying this message because we're desperate and we don't have any clients. It's like that chart I showed you earlier. We have plenty of work. We have plenty of clients, but I'm begging you to at least consider doing it now because we are in the inside. We see how quickly this is growing and it's just going to get faster. And if you're an everyday person watching this, you know, with maybe a tenth of a coin, one coin, 10 coins, whatever it is, if you're watching this, no matter where you are in that range, higher, lower, whatever, you're going to have a great amount of competition. Like, what do you think is going to happen when we have a bull market? Okay. In 2017, everyone was buying their Bitcoin on exchanges. All right. And the exchange balances were going up. Okay. 2021 in that, in that bull market, you had FTX and that rehypothecation. You had the Black Friday rehypothecation. You had all, okay. 2017, there was a lot of paper Bitcoin. 2021, there was even more paper Bitcoin. Okay. This bull market, this upcoming bull market and this, this bear market we're coming out of right now, this is the first time the exchange balances have been draining. And again, literally my job is helping people get their Bitcoin off exchanges. And I'm telling you, <laughs> but, but there, there's only so much I can tell you, obviously, but I'm, I'm telling you, do it now because it's happening. Okay. Companies are becoming interested. Charities are becoming interested. Churches are becoming interested. If you run a company, if you have a church and you're looking for a multi-sig uh, solution, if you're an individual and you want to pass on your Bitcoin to your children, you, you should probably at least consider a multi-sig solution, whether that's with us on your own, that's for you to determine. But my point is, I provide free consultations in the link below where you can talk to me and we can talk about what your goals are, what your desires are, and if a multi-sig makes sense for if a multi-sig makes sense for you in general. Three key, four key of services with us. We're got a free consultation for you to talk to me and figure out if this is something that could be useful to you. Okay. And again, that's this link here in the description. All right. You can learn more about uh, what we do on our website here at thebitcoinadvisor.com. Uh, and then towards the bottom here, you can book a meeting with me uh, for free. All right. You just click that link. You'll get my calendar and you can book a time with me. Okay. But not only that, again, our, our number one goal is helping get every coin off exchange and helping people have their own self-custody and their own self-sovereignty and whatever method brings in the most peace of mind in the long term. Okay. So we provide lots of free paperwork for you to learn about self-custody. Okay. If you're intimidated by self-custody, or even if you've been doing self-custody for a long time and you're just learning more about multi-sig. Okay. We provide dozens and dozens of pages of explanations on multi-sig vaults and everything of, of um, everything you would need to know about Bitcoin Advisor uh, specifically and self-custody in general. Okay, we provide all this for free, fully open op open source, so you can have generational wealth in Bitcoin without losing sleep, all right? You don't have to worry about your ETF uh, products. You don't have to worry about your sats on Coinbase. You don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's our main goal here, all right? We think we provide a lot of value, all right? That Bitcoin ETF and exchanges and closed-end funds, you know, all these things are far inferior uh, both in terms of cost and in terms of what you're actually getting uh, for a variety of reasons, as you can see on the screen here. But first and foremost, because we take security very seriously and you're actually owning real Bitcoin when you have a multi-sig vault, not some paper IOU from FTX or an ETF. OK, so my my encouragement to you, whatever you do, please start taking self-custody again, like this chart shows. We we see this all day, every day. The Bitcoin advisor has been in business seven years. Not a single client of ours has ever lost a single set. And I'm telling you anecdotally from working there that demand is skyrocketing, um, that, that wait times people are having is skyrocketing, okay? And if we are in a bull market and that is when you're only starting to begin or beginning to consider self-custody, you have to keep in mind what happens when exchanges start halting withdrawals? What happens when some governments around the world just decide to shut down all their exchanges because they got to print their own allocations into Bitcoin? What happens when simultaneously we have quantitative easing and lowering interest rates and higher amounts of printed money and bond creation? And simultaneously, demand is skyrocketing. Simultaneously, there's less and less resources because it can't keep up with demand. And simultaneously, everyone at the Bitcoin Advisor, everyone at Swan, everyone at Unchained, everyone at every Bitcoin company, all their time is booked up. And simultaneously, perhaps it's uh, hardware wallets are more expensive. It's like, you don't want to be caught in that where you have half a dozen independent things that are making your self-custody journey a little bit more difficult. Because if it's a little more difficult to you, you have a higher urgency. Likewise, everyone else sees their high, is a higher urgency and it just gets bid up and up perpetually. Okay. Now, of course, I think this is in cycles. There'll be periods where it's very difficult. And there'll be times where it's much easier. But my point is, if you want to figure out self-custody, please at least start your journey. You know, whether it's with me or it's with someone else, <laughs> my alarm's going off. It's probably telling me to tell me to remind you <laughs> to get self-custody. So thank you for your time. Again, the link in the description. Uh, we, we have lots of resources explaining what the Bitcoin advisor is, why we believe we're a vastly superior service uh, to the ETF and uh, Bitcoin IOU products. 
Again, lots of free paperwork uh, that I'm happy to email to you and send you for free um, in that link below. And ultimately, you can have a free initial consultation with me where we can talk about your self-custody goals and where you are in your Bitcoin journey and helping you plan for your future with a multi-sig vault that could be inherited down to your children, or it, it can be a current present day solution for your business or your business treasury. And likewise, an estate plan so that you have peace of mind in the present and a plan for the long-term future. So again, link in the description. And most importantly, whether you use me or not, whether you join the Bitcoin Advisor or not, please just take self-custody. I'm pounding this message under the table. And I know you guys, a lot of you are hearing the message and a lot of you aren't. And I know, I, I just know how this is going to happen. And so please consider doing it now. Thanks.